Hey, it's Abdullah, and I think it's no secret that the Nokia XR20 has been my favorite device from Nokia Mobile in 2021. In fact, it might even be the most favorite device I've used in the last couple of years. And as such, it continues to be my daily drivers for the most part since I got it. It basically takes what I like about the X20 and turns it up to an 11. Almost every feature it has is actually pretty useful without some unnecessary gimmicks. And I love the durability aspect. It's the first phone since probably the Lumia 930 that I actually feel comfortable using without a case. And I have zero anxiety about dropping it. And that's a pretty liberating feeling. Its battery life is awesome. It has has excellent, very loud dual speakers. Its camera setup on the back is great. And it has cool things such as wireless charging, a lanyard hole, and even that reprogrammable key at the top. But while I consider the XR20 my phone of the year, it's definitely not flawless. It could have actually been better. So here are five things I changed about the XR20 to make it the perfect no-nonsense smartphone. For a start, I'd make it about 10 to 20% smaller. That would have made it a lot easier to slip into the pocket and a lot easier to use with one hand. That would have also contributed to less weight, which would have made it an easier device to live with. So something like a 6 to 6.2 inch display would have been perfect in my opinion. Number two is adding an adaptive high refresh rate display. While the overall performance is adequate for most people, that extra bit of smoothness while using the device would have definitely helped elevate the overall experience. That would have definitely been a nice thing to have on such a device, especially since it's not really cheap. Number three is add a CPU that supports 4K video recording. The Snapdragon 480 won't exactly light the world on fire when it comes to performance, but as I mentioned, its performance is perfectly adequate. But the biggest limitation of using the Snapdragon 480 is that it doesn't support 4K recording. And that, in my opinion, is a missed opportunity because this could have easily been the ultimate content creation tool if you're trying to capture action footage. So even a processor such as the Snapdragon 690, which doesn't really do that much better compared to the 480 in benchmarks, would have helped solve that problem. Number four is add optical image stabilization to the main camera. Adding to the previous point, that in combination with powerful software stabilization would have helped create better, smoother videos and probably better low light images too. And number five is a better selfie camera, which is also capable of capturing 4K video. I don't personally take a lot of selfies, mainly due to genetics, but the 8 megapixel selfie shooter on the XR20 is mediocre at best. And this definitely limits what you can do with it, especially when it comes to content creation. When you create such a perfect tool to use outdoors and during adventures, why not go all out in trying to make it the only tool you'll need to capture excellent video and photos? So that's my list of five things I would change about the XR20 to make it the perfect device for me. If I was to ask for even more things, I would probably add Xenon Flash on this because that would have definitely helped it capture the best action shots and I would probably remove the Google Assistant button, place it on the other side and turn it into a two-stage shutter camera key. But now it's your turn. What would you change about the Nokia XR20 to make it the perfect device for you? Are you convinced with the whole rugged and durability aspects of the phone or these aspects don't really matter to you at all? And if you're a Nokia XR20 owner, what has your experience been so far? Are you satisfied? or do you have a lot of complaints about it? Share your thoughts with me in the comments down below. That's it from me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe, and I shall see you in the next one.